Maybe I'll go back to the torture book. The Sorry, language of torture. torture. There's a torture book written by a Harvard uh, researcher. Elaine Scarry. The Body and Pain. Uh. The Making and Unmaking of the World. She researched torture uh, across cultures and, and, and systemic, systemic culture and then broke down the steps of how to divorce a person. After you divorce a person, then you take over their voice and then you redefine their world because when you divorce them, you take over their voice by applying pain that knocks away, that destroys their language circuits. <laughs> then you create a torture. You amplify the torture, not from the pain. The pain is the, the doorway that opens psychosis <laughs> or too much reality. Then you can divorce the person and blame them for stuff that's not their fault. <laughs> you give them two choices and then you make them lose either way. So you create a false reality of divorcing. Then you make them love you. So you have the, uh, that intimacy bond. And she studied that across cultures and broke down the mechanisms of how it's used in war and interrogation. <laughs> Structure of how beliefs work, <laughs> how religions, yeah, this is artifacts, very academic, but like well researched. What a lovely woman! Love her. <laughs> That's bad puppies. Was she Mexican? <laughs> I shared this in the early days. It's pretty simple. That's the downside. Yeah. The simple rules. Where is it? It's like pain in the language of agency. So pain is a shortcut to take away someone's agency. It's not language, like eh? Yeah. Two or three steps or four steps. That's it. <laughs> we create stories, language of agency. It's a verbal strategy. It's an internalization strategy. It has a positive that allows you to keep your sense of self and be stable in the pain but the negative aspect of number three is it pushes your pain more invisible not just to other people but so number one your pain is invisible to others empathy doesn't exist that's just a guess you guess what their pain is and if you relate to their their emotional pain you'll feel their pain through contagion but if you don't have excess panic and someone floods you with panic, you aren't going to feel their panic because you're, you're hollow. So if you, if you manage your pain in your flashbacks, other people flooding you, it goes right through you because other people's pain is invisible to, to you and your pain is invisible to others. So pain obliterates language so I can destroy your story by insulting you, by physically pushing you. And then once your, your language is broken, then I can now use the language of agency to create a different storyline for you, for the torture subject. And then the double bind is that I can doubt your pain because other person to hear your pain always has doubt. And then you who have pain has certainty. So I can amplify the split. So this is the denial mm -hmm. split. I can always deny your pain because to me it's real. It's not my pain. So hearing your pain, I always have doubt. There's always room to deny you. And then if I accentuate the difference, <laughs> that creates a split in you with the target. I can just see this all so clearly how this applies. This is weaponizing the denial split, break you down. <laughs> then split the difference between pain, amplify the difference of shared humanity. So I can, I, me as shared humanity, I can torture and inflict pain on you. And then I can amplify the split that the pain is in you and I'll disown all the blame and say you're at fault for the pain that you're feeling. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the denial mindfuck. <laughs> I would deny my agency of causing you pain. <laughs>
And I'll create a story to make you blame yourself. <laughs> it's not complicated. Um, I mean, a lot of colonization happens with this formula. Yes, she studied it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they teach it to torture torturers. <laughs> CIA probably has uh, mm. their protocol to break down a person. Mm. <laughs> and then Karl Marx said, the only antidote to mental suffering is physical pain. Yes. The shortcut is to get to your hate, and then you have someone that can help you articulate your hate, then now you can have language of agency for your unmet needs. Physical pain obliter obliterates all psychological content, so that's the adaptive quality of trauma and pain. It takes you to a blank slate. The blank slate is psychosis, and psychosis is adaptive because psychosis... Psychosis is changing to a new reality. Psychosis is changing to a new reality. Psychosis is changing to a new reality. Psychosis is ch psychosis is changing. So if I'm a therapist and I make you be addicted to comfort, mm. I've disabled you from change because physical pain is what makes you have a clear blank slate, a reset that allows you to change the next reality. I keep you incapacitated by constantly numbing your pain. Constantly numbing your pain means I can also torture you more because that means it takes less pain to make you destroy your language circuits, to destroy mm -hmm. your language of agency, to devoice you, to devoice you. This is weaponizing the denial split, break you down, <laughs> then split the difference between pain. Me, a shared humanity, I can torture and inflict pain on you. And then I can amplify the split that the pain is in you, and I'll disown all the blame and say you're at fault for the pain that you're feeling. <laughs> so that's the denial mindfuck. I will deny my agency of causing you pain. <laughs> and I'll create a story to make you blame yourself. Weaponizing the denial split. I would deny my agency of causing you pain. Create a story to make you blame yourself. Weaponizing the denial split.